My name's Drew Vanders. Welcome back to my hardcore Minecraft series. This is episode 2 of season 5. Oh, this sounds like there's an enemy right there. Right from the start. I don't even have my armor on. Oh no, I'm on fire. I don't have a water bucket. Let me put on my armor. And there is a skeleton right over there. I don't have... Well, I have some raw iron, but I don't have enough iron to make a shield yet. So I guess I'm gonna make a shield. I'm gonna make a basic part of the base. And um, I'm a, th today's goal is to make or get started on an iron farm. Not an iron farm, but a villager beetle. Well, this is the bottom part of the of the mountain and and the hall. So I'm gonna mine out a little spot and make a a base of operations here. It's not really a base; it's more like a basic spot, just so I can get all the uh, all the stuff set up. Okay, I got a little forward operating base happening right here. I got I got some iron smelting so I can be able to make a shield. I've got plenty of extra bread. I now have a shield and I'm ready for any skeletons that come after me. There's also this entire chest out here that I gotta take care of. So I'm gonna do that right now by destroying it. So I was looking at my coordinates, press the S3 menu to be able to look at my coordinates and I looked down and there's, it looks like there's a whole bunch of new stuff down at the bottom. I have no idea what that's all about. This is completely new. I didn't think Minecraft updated at all, but looks like we got graphs. Oh, it sounds like there's a jound nearby. I better go to sleep. That's a very sus hand position. Again, my character just likes to do that every night before they go to bed. So my plan for this base, make a giant tunnel. And then I'm going to be shipping off uh, villagers inside a hill and make a, uh, a trading hall underneath the base that they get dropped down into through boat access to where they need to be. And then I can start trading, get rich, be able to survive easily that way, get some gold, gold, not gold, but diamond armor, some diamond stuff, all, all the good goodies to keep me alive so I don't die this time. And to do this, I need to decide to place a villager beetle somewhere that's on the river and then force two villagers to do the hanky panky while I watch. Okay so the villager breeder has to be a hundred blocks away from 304 and negative 926. Well I just made a hole right here because there was sand and I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this in later make it look better later at another point because my shovel just broke and I can't mine up any more dirt to fill it everything in. Well, my base is right over there, at least the entrance is going to be. And this is more than 100, 100 blocks away, so I think this is a pretty good spot to start building the villager beetle. Or as I like to call it, the slave beetle. Five minutes later. Well, I got the first step from my slave beetle tutorial video completed, just like how I did it in the video. And I don't have any more resources to be able to do it any further. I don't have enough dirt. I don't have a water bucket. And I need to go to sleep. This time I'm not doing the sus hand position. Well, I need to go back to the base so I can uh, get some glass. I need to get some dirt. And what else do I need? I need some, some uh, cheese as well. There's a nice little cave over here. Just a little distraction before I do what I'm supposed to. There is an Enderman nearby, and I do not have a boat in case something bad happens, so I have to be very careful. I'm probably going to exit the cave. There's a lot of resources in here. Oh, there's another exit over here. I'm just placing down a whole bunch of torches right now because, well, there's no enemies in here. So that when I do come back, there's going to be less enemies for when I actually start mining. I have just enough iron for a bucket. I dug out a little bit of the door around the this line right here and I also made sure that there wasn't any blocks that was right next to here so that drowns can't just come up up the hill because if you uh hot tip if you remove all the stuff that's two blocks down the drowned can't come up onto you if you're on land I hate grass so much but now that we got the bucket we can easily take the grass away I don't like sand it's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere Grass is terrible. It doesn't deserve to live. Well, I got the dirt in here. It's all tilled in the water. But it's becoming nighttime again. I wonder if, I, if there's anything I can do to make sure I can do the sus hand. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. Does jumping count? Nope. Jumping did not do it. I'm going to try again. What well, if I hold shift? I can't just hold shift. Hold on. Maybe it's because I have a shield. Holding shift doesn't do it either. Maybe I have to 
click and yep, there you go. Okay, I figured out how to do the sus hand. You do left click then right click. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. We will now do the sus hand every single time we sleep. What have I done? Slowly we will cleanse this land of all the evil grass on the ground because I absolutely hate them. I hate them! The grass is terrible. It looks so bad, I hate it. Do you guys shave your bushes in Minecraft like how you're supposed to? I just collected the glass that was smelted, and I just made a boat because I'm so tired of running across this every single time when a boat's so much faster. And I, I do have enough wood for it too now. And not having a boat in this game is a safety concern. If you don't have a boat, you're playing, playing hardcore Minecraft wrong. It doesn't matter if you're in normal survival, because you don't have to worry about all the Mendermen. But if you only have one life, you gotta have a boat in your inventory at all times. Well, this is all the glass that I had. And it's not it's not enough. I need more. Which is disappointing. Disappointed! Which means probably gonna go over there and grab some grab some more. I gotta grab all the sand. All the sand is now mine. By declaration of um the monarchy. I guess we're a monarchy now? Man, I'm gonna make so many holes I'm gonna have to fix later. At least this hole is not super bad like the other one over there. But it's also becoming nighttime, and you know what that means. I gotta do the, uh, the sus hand. Who knows what that means? We all know what that means. Well, I took out the sand over here. And I made an executive decision in deciding that everything should just be cut back all the way because I, I think it looks pretty good like that. And because there's a cliff right here. This one's for you, Trevor. This crafting table placement is just for you. I made this for you! Well, I think I got enough sand. I got like, what, three, three and some stacks? And I really don't know how long it's gonna take to smelt. So, we have that to look for. Maybe I should just make multiple smelters and smelt it really fast. You know, that cherry grove tree blossom stuff is actually does look pretty good from a distance. I, th I should uh, in make it grow, force it to grow. There was a zombie nearby. I don't know exactly where he's at, but he's really annoying me because it's pretty loud in my ear. I think there's a cave right over here. Yes, I do think there's a cave right over here. Look at me. I'm Mr. Meeksiegs. Look at me. Oh, there's a cave right where I want to put my base. Well, that's not all too surprising. I am I am in a, uh, a mountain. As long as there's no enemies nearby, I'll be fine. Man, this could be a part of the base. Like, have like a little castle fortifications built up over here. Like, some... So if somebody's coming around, you can just shoot them. Or we could build a bridge from that cave oval. You know, I think a bridge building is probably going to be where it's at. Oh, dude, I just found some lava. That means if we get some more iron, we can start on the lava gen... Well... Hold on, don't I have cauldrons? I could start on a lava generator right now if I really wanted to. But I'm gonna leave that for another episode. And, uh, block- No, I didn't want to use glass! Well, I guess that's glass for right now. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna do a little bit mining while there's the, the glass finishes because I feel like I need some more- Some more glass if I want to go over there for one last time. Well, it's getting a little bit dark. So, we gotta do the hand thing again. Well, I have two and a quarter stacks of glass, so I'm gonna go over and, uh, do the thing. Well, I planted some potatoes, I finished up the glass placement. I have all the glass that I need. I'm gonna put some more out of here. So I have four extra glass. However, I do need to put that roof up in there. So that's gonna be, um, 11 times 11. That's gonna be 121 glass up above. So, that's how much more glass I need for this. The village of Voodoo is coming along pretty well, if I do say so myself. However, that's all the time I have for today. I'm, I couldn't, I couldn't get this completed. However, I did get quite a bit done. If you enjoy watching me play hardcore Minecraft, please leave a like and a comment down below. It'd be fantastic if you gave me a sub sandwich, and I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.